Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we are going to do some catechesis, some study on the Holy Eucharist, that is the Holy Communion, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to speak in the context of the brain of St. John Paul II, which he gave us some notes and some explanations and made more emphasis on what Jesus said in John chapter 6 concerning his body and blood. This has been captured in his encyclical with the title Ecclesia the Eucharistia. Now, before we are going to understand fully the mystery behind the Holy Eucharist, that is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, in bread and wine, we have to understand that this thing we do is not for Catholics. Secondly, it is not for Christians only. Thirdly, it is for all. Judas inclusive. Don't forget when Jesus was giving us himself in the form of bread and wine, he gave it to the twelve. Judas Iscariot, who was his betrayer, his enemy at that time, was there. And again, we didn't do anything to merit this grace or this gift of God. Because scripture says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whoever believes in him would not perish. And so, Jesus has given himself to us. God gave Jesus to the world, the world including everybody. So God was not discriminative in giving himself to us. Again, the Holy Father presents it as a mystery of faith. There is a saying that lex orandi, lex credendi, that the law of prayer is the law of faith. Or what, or how you pray, or how you worship is how you believe. That is why he presents it as a mystery of faith because it is the faith, it is the worship of the disciples according to the Acts of the Apostles chapter 2. Scripture will say they always met and they broke bread and in breaking of bread, they, they read scripture. The breaking of bread is the Eucharist, that is the Holy Communion, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, now Jesus also presents himself in Luke's Gospel that he's not going to eat with us again but in the future because in the future he's going to feast with us he presents again the feast or the breaking of bread in an eschatological context that we are going to enjoy the same feast in the future to come so in the near future jesus is going to sit at the table with us and we are going to feast with him and so before we do this we have to understand what eucharist actually means you see, Eucharist is from the Greek word Eucharistia, which means thanksgiving. So Jesus gave himself to us in the form of sacrifice because he explains it in Luke's Gospel that the sacramental meaning that take this, this will be poured for our sins. That is the exact meaning, that is the sacrifice, that is the thanksgiving to God. Because in our native, if you are giving thanks to an elderly, a king or a chief, you have to present something so valuable. Even if you are going to give to the king or a chief an animal, it shouldn't be a sick bull. It should be an active and a strong one. Sometimes they even demand human sacrifice. They should tell you how extreme the reverence and the respect should be. That is why God expected something so big. And nothing at all can compensate God except something of himself. That is why we understand this context also in the incarnational process, that the word brought among us, it became flesh. So Jesus would have to take the form of man and again sacrifice himself to God. So this is the thanksgiving. And so before that, Jesus said, do this in memory of me. Now, before we give this thanks to God, you have to remember something. And in remembering this something, you'd have to do it. And so the past event Jesus did is now present. So the anamnetic remembrance of it, that is making it the epic lessons, the current, the, the here and now practice of what Jesus gave us is the breaking of bread today. That is why it is the worship. It is the, 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 the way we live. It is our prayer. That is why Jesus presents himself in the Gospel of Luke in an eschatological banquet that a future to come, we are going to journey with him at the table. We are going to feast with him. So Jesus again says in the Gospel of John that 
it is only his body and blood that will lead us into eternity so before we get eternal life we would have to eat what jesus gave us we should obey his commandments in john chapter 14 verse 15 if you love me you keep my commandments so he says do this in memory of me so to remember god we would have to sacrifice or do the sacrifice jesus gave us and taught us and so in our next episode or chapters you are going to understand fully the mystery behind the brain of saint john paul ii on the emphasis he made on the body and blood of our lord jesus christ don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel too i am a friend of christ you are a friend of christ and together we are all friends of christ peace be with you